the Berenstain Bears show some respect. It was a beautiful summer morning and the bear family was going on a picnic. Mama and Papa packed up the picnic things. Brother, sister and honey were very excited. Grizzly Gramps and Gran were coming too. I made a pot of my special wilderness stew for the picnic, said Gran. Mmm, said Gramps. Wilderness stew, my favorite. Yucko, muttered brother. Wilderness stew, not one of my favorites, sister laughed. What was that, brother? asked Mama. Oh, nothing, Mama, said brother. Come on, sis, let's pick out a good picnic spot. The family headed down the sunny dirt road to find a perfect spot for their picnic. Sister and brother ran on ahead. Wait for us, please, cubs, said Mama. But sister and brother paid no attention. Hmm, said Mama, none too pleased. I remember a good picnic spot right in these trees, said Papa. We used to come here when I was in school. That was about a hundred years ago, said sister. It's pretty run down now. Let's find a better spot. Hmm, said Papa, none too pleased. I know a lovely spot down by that pond, said Mama. Papa and I came here on our first date. That was an awful long time ago, said Brother. It's full of mosquitoes now. Let's find a better spot. Hmm, said Mama and Papa, none too pleased. I recall a time when Gramps and I had a nice picnic on top of Big Bear Hill, said Gran, as they went on their way. There was a lovely view and... Now, Gran, interrupted Mama, we don't want to climb all the way up Big Bear Hill. Let's find a better spot. Mmm, said Gran, none too pleased. The Bear family trudged across the countryside. They were getting hungry, hot, and tired. I have a good idea for a picnic spot, said Gramps. How about we all... Now Gramps, interrupted Papa. We don't need any help. We know what we're doing. Gramps stopped short. Now just a doggone minute, he said. It seems to me that you folks aren't showing much respect for your elders. That's right, agreed Gran. Brother and sister are being disrespectful to Mama and Papa. And Mama and Papa are being disrespectful to you and me, added Gramps. You know, us old folks know a thing or two. As the Bible says, age should speak. Advanced years should teach wisdom. But Gramps, said Papa. But me no but, Sonny, said Gramps. A wise son heeds his father's instruction, he added, quoting the Bible again. Sonny, said brother and sister. It never occurred to them that Papa was someone sunny. When they thought it over, brother, sister, Mama, and Papa realized that Gramps and Gran were right. They were being disrespectful. We're sorry, said brother and sister. We were excited about the picnic and forgot our manners. We'll be sure to show more respect from now on. And we're sorry too, said Mama and Papa. We know we shouldn't speak to our elders that way. That's fine, smiled Gran. All is forgiven. Now come along. Gramps will pick a good picnic spot for us. He's Bear Country's foremost picnic spot picker-outer. Yes, indeedy, said Gramps. Besides, if we leave it up to all of you, we might starve. Where are we going, Gramps? Asked brother and sister as Gramps led them across the countryside. Never fear, said Gramps. Grizzly Gramps, the picnic spot picker-outer, is here. They marched over hill and dell, through wood and field. Now there's the perfect picnic spot, said Gramps at last. But Gramps, said sister, that's your own house. That's right, youngin, he smiled. Didn't you ever hear of a backyard picnic? Gramps and Papa got the grill fired up and they added honey grilled salmon to Gran's wilderness stew. Mmm, said brother and sister. Honey grilled salmon, that's our favorite. They raised glasses of lemonade to Grizzly Gramps, the eldest member of the family. To Grizzly Gramps, said Papa. Bear Country's best picnic spot, picker outer. You know, said Gramps, as he dug into a big helping of wilderness stew. It's about time I got a little respect around here. If you enjoyed this read aloud, please consider subscribing for more videos in the future, and we thank you for listening.